Thank you, Mayor. And um, I don't know if uh, <coughs> Aru Warakun is listening. I know she's lis she was listening earlier from Australia, but thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you for all your efforts to um, uh, put, this, put this effort in front of us and thank the staff for all their hard work. I know just how many meetings <laughs> they had to go through for this. Uh, I do want to stress that Google doesn't just want to locate here, they want to integrate here. And, um, and, and they've agreed to help us with all the problems that we are trying, all the problems that we heard that need to be addressed. Uh, and it's, Google is unlike any other company we've ever dealt with. I've been here for six years. I know Don's been here a little longer than me, and certainly the mayor has. We've, we've approved a lot of land deals <coughs> and uh, buildings and companies that want to come here. We've done a lot of ribbon cuttings. And there's never been a company, at least in my tenure, that has ever sat down and gone through a process like this. We've had more meetings than we ever had with any other land deal. I know this is big. I know this is big and a lot of people are afraid that, that things are gonna, uh, that, that Google's gonna cause a lot of um, housing issues and transportation issues. And I could see, um, I could see where they're coming from. But this is the only company that has actually agreed to help with these issues. I've never had a company that offered to build housing come to us. They've never had a company that, that wanted to place their campus on the, world, on the western coast, you know, central hub of transportation. Nobody's ever wanted, uh, they, they just want to build a building. Most of them come and ask us for, for handouts. Most of us ask us, ask for tax breaks, discounts, things like that. Google isn't asking for any of those things. They're not asking us for any subsidies. In fact, they're willing to pay us top dollar for this land, and if it wasn't for them, the land wouldn't be worth as much as it is today. Um, they want to help us on, on giving public benefit dollars. I've never heard that come out of any discussion of any company that's come here. They want to help us educate our at-risk youth, according to this memo. So I'm not, uh, no, I'm, I'm not just um, going to vote for this. I'm going to enthusiastically vote for this because I know Google doesn't, doesn't want to just locate in San Jose. They want to integrate with the, the fiber of San Jose. And I'm really proud that they chose San Jose to do it in. Now, I've, my, my, my staff has created this nice diagram of all the different memos that I, that I had to go to. <laughs> and, and, I, and I don't want to belabor a whole lot of topics. I do have some concerns. A lot of you are, are you know, disposed of creating this 25% mandate for low-income housing in this Duradon area. And I think this could be a dangerous precedent. And the reason why I say this is because, no, really, the mayor said it, no other city is going down this path of creating 25% mandate, uh, except for, I've, I've researched many other cities, there's, there's not, nobody that does it to this uh, extent. 20% uh, is the most that I've seen. Uh, and so, while I know that Google has the financial gravitas of, of actually going through with a 25% inclusionary hou uh, housing effort. I'm afraid that it may dis detract from other companies and other uh, businesses uh, that want to locate here that, do that don't have the financial wherewithal that Google does. I will vote for this because I think you guys talked about this with Google. But I, but I, and I am afraid for other companies who want to locate here in San Jose that may not have the financial uh, bearing that Google does, and so I think that, that it, could, it could actually, anytime you raise the, the, the hurdles of creating housing, it's going to detract people from create, creating housing. It just makes it more expensive and, and less developers will want to develop. That, that is the basic economics, and I, I'm a, not a math major, but I'm an economics major, and so I understand how, how, um, how uh, this type of economic math works but I will support it. The one uh, item that, that I don't agree with wholeheartedly is the commercial linkage fees that I've voted consistently against, and that's in item number um, three. 
and uh, I've, I've, I, I know that we are actually even discussing it on December uh, 11th in a meeting, and I don't necessarily want to vote for this uh, because, because it's just part of this deal. I'm hoping that if my colleagues will allow at least that one part to be deferred to December 11th so that I don't have to vote yes for commercial linkage fees if I want to vote yes for Google. So I'm asking for a friendly amendment to like defer this one specific topic of commercial linkage fees. Yeah, let me just clarify that issue if I could from the Council of Canvas. Uh, my understanding, Jackie, is regardless of what we vote today, we still have the commercial fee discussion next week. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah, so this is not an attempt to shortcut that process. I think what we're saying in this memo, I think literally the words are, let's just take the next steps. And the next steps for us really are calling the question of whether we're going to do the study. That will come up next week. Uh, so you're certainly free to vote however you like on that. And then obviously the study is going to come back, and then you're free to vote however you like when it comes back. This is not chaining you in any way uh, to commercial linkage fee. Uh, the point was we recognize there needs to be some mechanism for funding affordable housing with commercial development in this area at least. Uh, and it may be a commercial linkage fee. It may be a financing district. We're still trying to figure all that out. But it seems to me these are questions we're going to take on in greater depth. And this is not, uh, should not be taken as committing you in any way to commercial linkage fee. I think you've been very clear and on the record about your views. So, so would you have a problem ex ex excluding that one little uh, two-word uh, two item, commercial linkage fee, from the... I, I'm, I'm interested in exploring other methods, um, just not that, because I, I actually even think that once we, once we actually go out to create this Nexus study, because a Nexus study doesn't... doesn't um, if, if the Nexus study comes back and says there's a, there's a Nexus, then the taxpayers have no recourse, uh, and, and, and we can put a fee on there anytime we want. And it could be the Pandora's box, and that's what I'm afraid of. It could be, and, and that's why I didn't want to debate this now. I just wanted to see if I can extricate th those couple words, and, um, and if it doesn't really mean anything, I, it, it, would m it would make me feel better <laughs> if it doesn't, uh, uh, you know, if it doesn't cause any harm, I would prefer to keep my uh, unblemished record of, of yeah. voting against. Uh, I mean, Councilmember, I think the concern is is that we're trying to clearly s state that there are several different paths here to figuring out a mechanism to ensure that commercial development in the downtown and Giridon area will pay for affordable housing. Um, we haven't yet figured out what the best mechanism is or whether there's some combination of mechanisms. So the problem is if we take it out, uh, I don't want that to suggest somehow or another we're then discounting that. Uh, we may end up coming back from the nexus and feasibility study in a few months, learning that downtown in Deirdon is close to about the only place where we can impose one of these um, and still have feasible commercial development. I, I don't know. I don't want to prejudge the study. Uh, but I wouldn't want us suggesting today that we're foreclosing that. And so that's why, as I say, I don't think anyone is going to confuse your position on this issue. I think you've been outspoken and opposed to it. Uh, we're simply saying, we're going to take this forward, and next week we're going to vote on whether we're going to have a study or set of studies. Well, I, I, again, um, I, I'm not. I, 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 look, I'll, I'll vote for it, but I just I want to express my deep desire not to go forward with with any inclusionary fee, um, commercial linkage fees, because uh, it for me in downtown the way we got people to build housing is to eliminate the high-rise impact fee. That's the way we were able to get high-rises out of the ground, and that's why we have new high-rises. Um, and, and, and much to that extent, if we put commercial impact fees, I feel that we may later have to. Um, it, it may kill off the new renaissance of companies that have finally found San Jose, and, um, and in any case. Um, so if, if the, the maker of the motion wouldn't take that out, um, I, I, I do want to heavily state on the record that, that I would not uh, be in favor of, of this um, a commercial impact fee, a linkage fee. Um, and I do warn that a 25% impact fee for, uh, for low-income housing could actually deter people from building housing. Um,
Thank you.